Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to be showing you another After Effects tutorial, and uh, this one is on my Eden edit, so let me go ahead and show you what the effect looks like. Uh, that effect right there is like a radial spectrum thing, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. First off, uh, you want to get your clip. By the way, I split this clip uh, all, just anywhere random where it is unscoped, but if this were an actual edit, you would want to... Uh, put the effect like right after and scope like the frame after so then uh, you know yeah so first off you want to hit control Y to go ahead and make a new solid make comp size you can name it whatever I'm just gonna leave it that and once you do that uh, you know, just fix it to that okay and then go to or search up audio spectrum or you can find it in the effects tab whichever and uh, as you can see you can now see the clip again so first off, we want to uh, uh, give it the audio layer. So we are going to give it this song. Uh, if you want the song, there it is. And so now, as you can see, the frequency bands are like, you know, rising. Anyways, so then once you do that, you want to go ahead and uh, choose side B. So that way it only goes on the outside and uh, like the outside of the scope and not the outside and the inside. Uh, side A would only be the inside of the scope and yeah. So then uh, go ahead and change the frequency bands to, I like around 150-ish, somewhere around that. 153 is good. And then go ahead and change the height to whatever you want. The maximum height I'll do something like that I guess I don't know and also the thickness you can choose the thickness to whatever you want I just want to make it too big like that uh, I think around three to four is good uh, about there's right um, also change the color to whatever just by doing this and now you have your spectrum set to whatever you want but the only problem is it's not round, it's not in a circle, whatever. So let's go ahead and search up polar coordinates under distort, put it on the black solid, change the type of conversion to uh, rect to polar, and then change the interpolation up to whatever you want, and as you can see it's coming back down in like a circle looking thing. Uh, it might not be exactly right, like as a circle, and that's okay as long as you know you get the effect. Because as you can see, it looks blurry and all that. Uh, so I mean, I wouldn't recommend that. I would much, I don't. It kind of depends on the audio source, I believe. Uh, so I'd much rather have something like this, uh, where it's not a full, complete circle, uh, and you know, looking nice instead of something all big and distorted and such and then anyways once you do that you want to actually one second okay sorry about that so anyways uh, you want to hit this little arrow under or on the black solid and then under transform hit that uh, thing right next to it too go ahead and change the position roughly to where the scope is also go ahead and select your black solid press s uh, so you can bring up the scale, uh, make it, I, this is going to be really rough since, you know, this is just a tutorial. Let's say that that's the size of it. Go back down to this and then uh, move it over some. Oh, that's scale, my bad. I didn't know that it was right there. Whoops. Uh, so then, alright, let's just say that that's about good. Something like that okay so then you go one frame forward and uh, you want to actually keyframe the position and the scale so this has the keyframe 155 okay good and then scale this back down it'll automatically or it should automatically create a new keyframe uh, change the position to roughly where it is again and honestly you can just kind of move it around like this if you want but, um, alright, so that should have created new, yeah, it created new keyframes automatically. So as you can see, it kind of goes with it. As I said, this isn't perfect, because it's just a tutorial. 
If I were you, doing an actual edit, I try to make it as cleanly and as neatly as possible. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, okay.